With over 8,000 plus graduates, Galvanize and Hack Reactor are leading the industry in data science and software engineering education. In this series, we interview students in depth on their educational journey. This is Decode, my coding bootcamp story. Welcome to Decode, my coding bootcamp story. Today, we are interviewing Evelyn Binkard, who graduated from our Hack Reactor program in Austin, Texas. She was part of the ATX42 cohort. So let's get started. Evelyn, can you tell me a little bit about your background prior to Hack Reactor? Absolutely. Um, so prior to Hack Reactor, I uh, was a music teacher. Um, I was a public school band director for nine years and um, had actually taught music um, in lesser capacity since 2005. I taught everything from middle school bands, so getting kids to make the first sounds on their instruments through high school marching band, and then also advanced placement music theory. Um, my degree is in music education, and I also have a performance certificate in clarinet performance. That's really incredible. And what inspired you to go to a, a coding boot camp? And from there, how did you decide on Hack Reactor? Uh, sure. So um, I'm going to preface my answer by saying that um, leaving teaching was probably one of the hardest decisions that I ever had to make. Uh, I absolutely adored my students and my colleagues, but um, I guess um, the first time I thought about software engineering, I was just in downtown Austin and I the thought crossed my mind to ask myself what do all of these people who work in these very impressive buildings do and so I looked it up and by and large because it's Austin Texas they were all tech companies um, probing a little bit further um, I looked at job postings and the ones that seemed the most interesting to me that mentioned um, working in a collaborative team and having uh, a drive to be a constant learner were software engineering uh, roles. Um, so while the description was very intriguing to me, the actual technical requirements uh, were somewhat of a foreign language to me at the time. So I did some surface level research um, and uh, started reading a little bit more about what these technologies were and what they did, but this still seemed a little bit unattainable for me um, with my background. Um, until about a year ago, I have a friend that went through the Hack Reactor program with also a musical background, and uh, I saw the level of fulfillment that she had overcoming the challenges and learning something brand new, and just seeing this brand new level of confidence in her was inspiring to me, so um, I took it upon myself to dive a little bit further into it and um, I challenged myself even after my 11 hour working days to uh, start studying some JavaScript and solving problems and it was when I realized that during the day I was really looking forward to getting home and coding I knew that um, it was time to make that change. Um, I decided to go through Hack Reactor um, to um, make that change happen, not only because of the wonderful things that I've heard from um, previous graduates, but also um, their transparency and student outcomes as far as job placements concerned and just how much pride they very obviously took in their curriculum. Um, both of those things were uh, deciding factors for me. That's such a great thing to hear from, uh, from our end. And you know, as a former teacher yourself, how did it feel to step into being the role of a student again? Um, uh, the first uh, thing that comes to mind is it was refreshing. Um, throwing myself into learning something completely brand new and it being my only job and the only thing I needed to concentrate on, I think was um, just kind of the breath of fresh air that I was craving after uh, teaching for so long. Um, but it was also a super humbling experience. Um, my previous uh, roles is in a student capacity um, were fairly, um, they were fairly easy for me. I learned new concepts quickly. 
Um, but ha not having a technical background and combined with the very rapid pace that the curriculum moves in Hack Reactor, um, I found myself struggling with concepts um, very frequently, but um, overcoming those challenges and embracing that struggle, I think not only uh, helped me grow um, technically, but also on a very personal level as well. You know, talking more about the overcoming challenges and, and trying to uh, break through the other side, what were your biggest challenges during the software engineering boot camp and how did you overcome them? Um, sure. So just keeping up with the, with the pace uh, was very difficult. Um, I put in a few extra um, hours throughout the week to make sure that I was really um, uh, getting a good grasp on the concepts that were being taught. Um, but I think one of the biggest challenges was really facing um, my own securities. There was some imposter syndrome creeping in and a little voice in the back of my head trying to, con trying to tell me that uh, maybe I was out of my element or you know had maybe rushed into this decision. Um, but I also, uh, another extra layer of complexity was uh, was dealt to me by fate. Um, I was in a kind of a, a serious car accident um, the third week of the boot camp, and um, I was uh, had to kind of deal with a lot of pain and uh, just trying to squeeze in doctor's appointments during lunchtime. But I think all of those challenges, um, I was able to overcome all of those challenges in the same way, and that was because of the support that's both structured into the program um, through the staff and the instructors, as well as the support that um, my amazing cohorts gave me along the way. Um, there um, are office hours that you can set up with the staff, both for technical and personal reasons, and just kind of talk through them and make sure you're getting through it. Um, my cohort mates were just extremely kind and understanding with me the entire time I was going through that or any other challenges, even when I was healing from my injuries. That's just amazing. And obviously this sort of goes in tandem with what you were just describing, but um, what did you enjoy most about the boot camp? Um, like I said, the camaraderie you build with your cohort mates is um, phenomenal. There's just something about, one, I spending so much time um, with the same people for three months, but also um, helping each other through struggles. Um, it, it really uh, gives you like a very special bond, I think. Um, Something outside of the camaraderie of my cohort mates is just how helpful the staff and the instructors are at Hack Reactor. Um, it's not just a willingness to accept feedback, but they, the staff asks for feedback both in the curriculum and um, the delivery of instruction and projects and everything, and uh, that. Um, that drive to continue to improve the program um, and seeing that happen um, was just really great. Um, the, the, the curriculum itself is fantastic. Um, in retrospect, it does such a good job of pushing you um, through a lot of different con concepts very quickly, but giving you a lot of opportunities to solidify them as well. Um, I think it does a great job preparing us uh, not only to start our job search, but also preparing us to actual, actually step into the real world as software engineers. Um, yeah, and also the instruction itself, um, I really truly loved. Um, I've been around teachers for a really long time, um, both in a collegial sense and in a student-teacher uh, type of relationship, but I have to say one of my favorite teachers of all time was uh, the lead instructor that I had at um, Hack Reactor at Austin. Um, just, they, everyone just did such a great job encouraging us through failures, but also genuinely celebrating our successes, no matter how trivial or huge they seemed at the time. It's so great to hear that. Um, and I want to go back to one of the uh, things we talked about initially, which is your background in music. Uh, do you see any similarities between learning music and learning software engineering? There are definite similarities in how you approach um, 
the problem of creating something new that eventually somebody else is going to use or experience. Um, the, that problem solving method of always keeping your goal in mind and breaking it down into smaller problems and realizing along the way that maybe you don't have all of the skills you need, but then um, acquiring those skills to incorporate into uh, the small problem that you're solving that will eventually become part of the big picture, um, I think are, uh, are both char characteristic of music and software engineering, but um, also the fact that in both of those, you have to become uh, pretty good at also coping with failure. Um, you, there's you know a lot of rejection in music, and there's a lot of times where you're going to not be successful, and you just have to try it again. Um, there's going to be a bunch of error codes uh, in software engineering, and you're just going to have to try it again. But something that goes hand in hand with that is also developing the skill to diagnose why that problem happened in the first place. And um, I guess, Subsequently, how are, how are, subsequently, how are you going to solve it the next time around? Of course, you know, keeping up that that idea of problem solving. Um, I want to ask you: after you graduated, what was the job search like for you? And um, after going through that process, do you have any advice for others going through the job search? Yeah. Um, so the job search is definitely um, it. It can be a grind and kind of an emotional roller coaster. Um, but uh, I was very fortunate in um, my journey to um, land my first software engineering role. Um, I had a fairly short turnaround. Um, my first offer um, I got between two, like two and three weeks uh, after graduating, um, but I uh, ultimately decided that that was not the correct fit for me to begin my career. And the offer that I was excited to accept um, uh, came to me uh, four weeks after graduation. So I'm incredibly fortunate that um, that it turned out that way and that I did not have to struggle so long to land my first role. And I think that's in part because um, I had a routine and a system in place. Uh, the career services at Galvanize are just really fantastic and having someone to ask even after graduation, having someone to ask all of um, my questions about finding employment in the private sector, which was a completely foreign concept to me, um, was incredibly helpful. Um, as far as advice to give, um, I think that uh, definitely follow the guides that are put in place uh, during the career portion of the curriculum before you graduate stick to it um, my other uh, i guess nugget of advice is again lean on your cohort mates do the job searching together go to networking events together um, that sort of group of accountability and um, that support uh, helped me a lot to not become discouraged during the process and then Evelyn, just one last question, which is kind of uh, encapsulating everything. What is one piece of advice you would give to somebody who's interested in taking a software engineering bootcamp? My piece of advice, um, after you carefully consider which bootcamp is correct for you, is to make sure that you're not scared to ask questions or to ask for help. I think a lot of us can get caught up in that little voice in the back of our head that says that we're out of our element and we don't deserve to be here and we're not good enough um, or that you know when you do have questions that voice tends to surface surface itself um, at that moment in time but to ask the question anyway um, people are there to help you they um, I in my experience, people were extremely excited to help me, whether they were um, staff members, whether they were um, residents, um, recently graduated students who um, were there to help us, or even cohort mates. I think everybody really wanted us to succeed. And I think at the end of the day, uh, knowing that uh, you have this support system, um, make sure that you do use it to its fullest potential. Um, Everybody wants to see you flourish uh, once the program is done. So for sure, uh, take that to heart and uh, do the best that you can to ask any questions that you have. 
Well, Evelyn, thank you so much for taking the time today to answer some of our questions. This was really just a fantastic opportunity and congratulations on the new job and congratulations on becoming a software engineer. Thank you so much for your congratulations and thanks for having me. Of course. Thanks for joining us. This has been Decode, my coding bootcamp story. If you would like to know more about our programs, please visit galvanize.com or email us at admissions at galvanize.com.